Wow. Yeah, I love the park. Fresh air. Bugs. Nature. Pollen. People. Stranger danger. Wow, your optimism is enviable. Oh, that's one of my finer qualities. Oh, well, that says a lot. <laughs> okay, so are you more of a rock sitter or a grass sitter? And he just starts in with a personal question. <laughs> Actually, I'm more of a burrow into the ground for a warm kind of Oh, guy. God. I assumed as much, but I'm a little ill-prepared. Next time. Noted. For today, grass sitting is fine. Great. Okay. Well, okay. I see a big old shady tree with our name on it. <laughs> what? Was that weird what I said? Look, I know people use the word shady in a different way now, but I just don't think I'm going to ever grasp that. You know, I, I, to me, shade's like a good thing, but pop culture leads me to believe otherwise. So much today. Yeah, sorry, I tend to ramble when I'm nervous. Also, I had a Red Bull before I got here, so I'm going to need a nap in like 20 minutes. Want to sit? I'm not sure before you pass out. <laughs> Oh, wait. That is a very small towel. <laughs> yes, uh, it is the best I had. It's all yours. Thank you. All right, so I have got some crackers, mm. some cheese, some fruit. Um, I've got sparkling apple cider, because we're fancy, but we're not reckless. Mm. Um, <laughs> and one of these weird coffee things, since I know you're like oh, into that. That's yeah, no problem. I mean, something you should know, I'm actually great at picnics. Yeah, I mean, look at this blanket. Honestly, I was hoping you'd say you were more of a rock sitter. Sorry. Hey, no, that's, that's on me. I should never presume. You know what Assume? they say. Oh my God, how'd I mess that up? So, uh, tell me more about yourself. Like, what are the top three things I should know about you? Oh God, okay, pressure. Um, <laughs> top three things? Uh, okay, here we go. One. Born in a manger. Two, uh, I love to be swaddled. Three, I actually hate frankincense. Religious humor. I admire your bravery. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a fourth thing about me. I'm very brave. Uh, no. But seriously, uh, three things. Okay. Uh, oh, I like to paint, which actually we've talked about. Um, let's see. Oh, I have two other siblings. I'm the middle, which explains why I'm like really laid back and fun. And three, I like logic puzzles. So laid back and fun. Okay, logic puzzles are <laughs> awesome and glasses are cool and I refuse to hear I otherwise. I agree, oh. but I'm just more into writing than numbers. Oh, cool. What kinds of stuff do you write? Uh, pretty much whatever. Just poems, short stories. I'm working on something right now that hopefully will be my first full-length book. Oh, awesome. Well, you know, if you ever need cover art... I know who to call. Uh, me? I mean, you're going to call? Yeah, okay. I'll I call just... you, I guess. So, why a, why a picnic? I don't know. I mean, the, the park's nice, and there's not all that pressure of a restaurant, you know? Yeah, all that decor really puts a lot of pressure on things. Yeah, plus, you know, if here, if something happens, you know, it's because something happens. Mm. Not because lighting forced it. Yeah, I mean, this lighting, though, it's pretty great, too. That's not so... Actually, I can't look at it. It's like, it's blinding me. I, I, I can't look at it. So how did it go? You win her over with your fancy cheese? Uh, I'm getting there. I like her. How do you know? You've interacted, like, never times. I just have a sense about these things. Sixth feeling and all. I think you mean sixth sense? Yeah, but I couldn't say the word twice. Oh, you're working on becoming a wordsmith? Boo! And yes, I'm trying to break into the world of slam poetry. Sounds tough. Good luck. I've never been afraid of a challenge. Charlie, that's the sweetest thing I ever heard. Yeah, he's pretty great. When you talked about the wedding, he didn't seem so... Nice? Yeah. I knew we had chemistry. Sparks? Definitely. <laughs> you didn't even say that about Kevin. <laughs> I didn't say a lot of things about Kevin. Not much to say about mediocrity. Hey, be nice. What for? Just because. I was being nice. Mediocre is the nicest way I can describe him. Okay, Kate. I'm just saying, the guy had B.O. Like, is he rotting on this couch B.O.? He did not. <clears throat> he did not have B.O. Charlie. 
we were looking for bad broccoli for a month. We had to get a new fridge. And what do we find out? He left a shirt here. He left a shirt here. If that's not B.O., I don't know what Okay, it is. well, Michael doesn't have B.O., and Kevin liked to read a lot, so you take the good with the bad. Charlie, that bad? Does that mean Michael's bad is going to be horrible foot odor? God, I hope not. Lightning can't strike twice, can it? Lightning strikes the Empire State Building an average of 25 times a year. Really? Yeah. But maybe you'll get lucky and his bat will be troublesome back knee. Maybe he'll be adamantly against voting. Or only eat foods that are beige or white. Maybe. I'll be the man I spend the rest of my life with. That too. Which might be worse. Yeah. I'd have to get my act together. Yeah, get rid of that back. Hey! <laughs> Shut up! I want to ask you something a little serious. Okay. Is there anything he could say that would turn you off? I don't know. I mean, I like to give everyone a chance. Are you going to tell her about what you do? I'm the Zodiac Killer. What? What? Your professional wedding date gig. Oh. Uh, I'm saying, if he said he was a modern day Zodiac Killer, would that turn you off? I need an answer. I have questions. I don't have an answer. Wrong. The answer is either yes or no. It's not that simple. It's only because you're making it complicated. I don't think that's the kind of thing you just come out and tell somebody. Why not? Because everyone deserves a shot. And it sounds like you want to get shot. I am not willing to get shot. I don't believe you're telling the truth. Sounds like you're willing to do anything. I am. But not the whole truth. Truthfully, maybe I am. I just... I really want this one to work. And is that so wrong? Fine. Just be prepared. What's that supposed to mean? It means this could go a bad way. I know. Do you know? Have you ever tried to hide something this big before? Like that time I pretended to be a model and got free clothes at the Gap outlet? No. But what's worse? In the grand scheme of things. Lying. Being open or being a sexless male prostitute. Might not be the worst thing. Sounds like the worst thing in the world. Might be time to get a real job. 